All right, today I want to talk about prop types. Prop types is a way of adding validations and documentation to your React components. If you're already familiar with prop types, you probably want to skip to this timestamp. I'm going to add it right here for more advanced stuff. OK, but let me first set some context. So I have this four divs over here which lay out vertically because divs are block elements and when I wrap them with a stack component which I've built you'll see that this changes and these divs get stacked in a horizontal fashion instead of vertical. Perfect. What this also does is it gives them equal width which is not always the best thing. So if I add like if the length of the data is different then you'll see it kind of breaks because they don't really need equal width. What you can do here is add a width prop, which I've made, and then in this array, give exactly the width in percentage. So I want 50%, 30%, and then these two can just be 10% each. And you'll see it lays them out nicely. Okay, what I want to do is add some validations on this prop. How I can do that is say stack dot prop types and then mention widths and then add my validation here. The easiest way to do this is import the official package prop types from prop types which comes with like a bunch of things to a bunch of functions to validate. In this case what I want is prop types dot array of and then I can mention what should be in this array. So over here it's prop types dot number. It's an array made up of numbers, right? You can look at the official docs. It's like a bunch of different functions here. You have array, boolean, function, number, object, string. There's, there's a bunch of them. We need this one. And now you'll notice if I mention, like if I give a string instead of a number, it doesn't actually work. I get an error or a warning which says invalid prop. This is a string expected a number. Okay, this is the advanced part. So I already added this validation that this prop width is an array of numbers, but I also want to add another validation, like a custom validation, that the sum of these numbers is actually 100. So the way to do this is you can add another thing in prop types, like make up something like sum and pass a function here. So the function gets props as a variable and then you can return something from here. So over here what I'm going to do is say props dot width. This is the number so I'm going to say these are the elements and then I want to take the sum of these. So I'm just going to paste this which I already have. So like I'm reducing this array to get the sum and I want to say if sum is not equal to 100, then return an error instead. So I can say the sum of widths width should be 100. And now you can see if I make this mistake of like calculation mistake and instead do this 5 and 5, we'll get an error that failed prop type, the sum of widths should be 100. Right. We can make this slightly better as well. The sum of widths is, and let me change these into template literals. The sum of widths is sum expected 100. And now you'll see when I reload, I get this nice error. The sum of widths is 90, but I expected it to be 100. So that's the error. And you can go back and fix it and it will go away. So this is something I learned which was I thought was pretty useful and uh, I ended up pulling this function out into a different file so that I can use it across components. Thanks for watching an episode of my daily clog. If you found this useful consider subscribing. I make these videos every day where I try to teach what I just learned that day.